Tally Smith and Chief Scientist Award. 900 patients a year have urgent palliative radiotherapy at MUH to treat cancer symptoms including bleeding, pain and spinal cord compression. Radiotherapy plans are prescribed using radiation dose at a single point on the body. However, defining this point in our computer software, RayStation, involves several time-consuming steps and many opportunities for error. Talitha's work automates appropriate processes to streamline this workflow to reduce the waiting time for the patient. Talitha uses the RayStation programming interface to automate and combine steps. This has meant calculated coordinates for treatment are placed more consistently as opposed to added manually using a computer mouse. It is also positioned more quickly and accurately than most users could achieve. Automating suitable parts of the workflow allows staff to concentrate more on other aspects and also means staff can create a treatment plan more quickly with reduced potential for error. Patients will have a shorter wait between CT scan and treatment delivery, particularly important for patients waiting in the department. Approximately a thousand patients a year will benefit from this new workflow. Winning this award would allow Talitha to attend educational meetings aimed at improving the way we develop and maintain in-house computer software. We've been nominated for the Healthcare Science Award. As the Programme Manager of the Bowel Cancer Screening Hub, Caroline has led on implementation of new screening tests for bowel cancer. As part of the National Bowel Cancer Screening Programme, the team were aware that there is a new, more sensitive and specific test that could be offered to those individuals with vague symptoms of disease to help triage them more appropriately. The healthcare science team carried out a pilot study with the colorectal team at QMC, Nottingham CCGs and Cancer Leads to investigate acceptability and utility of this new test in an urgent referral pathway. Results showed that the new test called FIT is acceptable to patients, has very positive readings for predicting colorectal cancer and other significant pathologies. It is also successful in identifying those with very low risks of disease who can be sent back to their GP for more appropriate, less urgent follow-up. This test, therefore, benefits both patients and NHS trusts, both in terms of appropriateness of treatments and compliance with cancer wait times, along with an added bonus of saving valuable resources. A fit test is cheaper than imaging or a colonoscopy. This test has consequently been introduced into the referral guidelines for Nottingham GPs and has been adopted by Leicestershire, South Derbyshire and Northampton and Kettering CCGs using NUH facilities due to the high quality accredited service. This provides additional jobs and income to NUH. The healthcare science team has played an integral role in delivering this service improvement both here and for the wider East Midlands area. Kenneth O'Dowd, I'm a clinical scientist working in diagnostic radiology and radiation protection and I've been nominated for the Chief Scientist Award. Optimisation of imaging procedures is a core work activity for physicists working in diagnostic radiology and radiation protection. The purpose of optimization is to ensure patient radiation exposure is kept as low as possible while providing adequate image quality. Kenneth led a multidisciplinary team project, including radiographers and spinal surgeons, to optimize the radiation exposures for pediatric and adult patients during spinal surgery. The project centered on a mobile CT scanner used for the pediatric scoliosis correction. This device has been shown to produce better surgical outcomes when compared to alternatives for image guidance, but has the potential to deliver relatively high levels of radiation to the patient. To test a new protocol, Kenneth used a phantom dummy which simulates the impact of an X-ray on a real patient and is imaged using the mobile CT scanner with the images viewed by members of the surgical team. Based on their assessment of image quality, the patient radiation exposure could be reduced by 80% compared to what's produced with the existing manufacturer recommendations. As it's not ethical to directly relate model-based work into clinical protocol, current reductions of 55% have been achieved with most recent patients. These are now routine use at NUH and the work is being shared with other users of the system. Kenneth plans to continue progress with further reductions in patient radiation exposure.